Hello and welcome to Kai Talks. I'm your host, Kai Ninja, and I'm so excited that you can join me today for another episode of Kai Talks. Today I want to talk to you, yes, you, about being a trailblazer. What it means to be first, you know, like a pioneer or a trendsetter. Trailblazers like people, we look for inspiration because they're the ones taking risks. A pioneer explores new places before anyone else, and a trendsetter sets an example for all to follow. But before we get into that, if you like my videos, I would really appreciate if you follow my button, follow my channel, and click the like button. Also, subscribe, too, if you can. It'll really help my channel grow. grow. You can also find my podcast at Spotify and Apple, too. For those who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kai Ninja, and I'm a person with autism. I was diagnosed when I was two years old, and you know what? I was the first person in my family to be diagnosed with autism. Yep, that's right, being neurodivergent was something new to my family. And that's what I want to talk about to you today. The art of being first and and blazing your own trail. Being first can be a scary thing, but it doesn't have to be. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Caillou, how can I be first in anything when everyone else has already been done? What's the point? What's the meaning of it? But you see, this is where you need to change how you think about being first. You can be the first person in your family to go to college. You can be the first person in your family to write a novel. You can be the first person in your family to earn a black belt in martial arts. No one says you can be the first person to to do a thing to be a trailblazer. In my series of interviews about being first, you met some really extraordinary people who are who are there in their, who are the first in their field to had their own dream. They set goals to reach the dream of reality and set example to all to follow. Whether it was Shilling Rays or Mel Alves or the first immigrants to become a CEO or Mayor or Chief Fire Atkinson become the first African American Fire Chief on the department, their stories are inspiring and show us what's possible if you work hard and achieve your goals. Being first means blazing your own trail. And that's what Caillou Talks is all about. Being first means going against the grain. It means to find your own way to shine. And you know what? You can find your own way to go against the grain and shine your own light to show the world who you really are and stay true to yourself while you do it. And I can hear you asking, Caillou, that sounds great, but how do I do that? Well, to start, at you, to start you have to be fearless. You have to be willing to accept that you might fail. You have to accept failure and mistakes. You have to be persistent. You don't give up at the times when it gets tough. You keep trying and trying no matter what and doing your best. You have to be creative. You have to try things differently. You have to see the world from your own angle. You must be curious. You must ask questions. You must be open and willing to explore new ideas and be willing to embrace change. But most important, you must be able to be teachable. You must be willing to accept criticism and listen to others. You have to be willing to listen from your own mistakes and hold yourself accountable. That's, that means that you have to be willing to accept your consequences from your choices. You have to be comfortable with the truth as long as you tell the truth. You never have to remember what you said, right? It sounds like a lot. I know. Here's the good news. Anyone can do these things. Everyone has it in them to be a trailblazer. You have what it takes and you have to believe in yourself. Start small, set goals, to build it up. Don't be afraid to fail and don't and get and don't get discouraged. Pick yourself up and try again. Just like my guests, the art of trying to be the first in the series. They all want to be trailblazers and they all had mistakes, but they all kept trying. They reminded me about a film I recently watched. It's called A Million Miles Away. And it is the true story about Jose Hernandez, a son of an immigrant farm worker who worked on a farm as a boy in California. Jose's dream was to become an astronaut. As a boy, he worked in the fields alongside his family. And he switched schools from his family as his family moved from farm to farm, working tirelessly. But in 1972, he watched Apollo 17 land on the moon. And he, and he knew right then, right and right there, that his dream was to become an astronaut. That's when his true story had began. And you know what? Everyone laughed at him. Everyone said there was no way, no chance. Not even his family believed in him. He could become, no, there was no chance, they said, to become an astronaut. He was just a poor boy, the son of a Mexican immigrant. And you know what? Even his family didn't believe in him. And, his, and, he, and he believed that his place was to work in the fields. 
But Jose did, was not going to accept that. He focused on his education and graduated from high school and went to college, where he studied science, engineering, and computer science. He became an engineer, and he worked in a laboratory and designed technology that helps in early de dedication to cancer. He faced incredible odds to even get that far. Even going to college and graduating school for science and en engineering is difficult enough. Am I right? Jose could have stopped there because that was already an incredible achievement of his own. But no, Jose knew that he had a lot of work to do. He was not done. And he, and he kept his dream of being an astronaut alive in his heart. But he still had dreams of going to space. In 2001, he finally joined the NASA astronaut program after submitting 12 times. You don't only have to be smart, though, to hold advanced degrees. That's not it. You have to be extremely fit, too, and go through some of the toughest trainings to make the cut. You see, astronauts must be strong in both their minds and their body. When you're in space, if something goes wrong and it's on you to fix the problem, there's no one to help you there. There's no backup. So you have to have a strong mind and body. Astronaut training requires lots of academics, but also flight training. It's really cool. That makes me think about wanting to be an astronaut too, honestly. Now, the movie is great. I loved it, and I highly recommend it. It stars Michael Pena. They might know him from movies like Ant-Man or Dora the Explorer. Now, Michael Pena normally plays funny characters, but being a son of Mexican immigrants and, hard -working actor, and a hardworking actor himself, Pena has a perfect person to play Jose Hernandez. You might not notice, but Pena and Hernandez share a lot in common. Both men dedicated themselves to chasing their goals. Their goals were very different, but they took lots of lots of work. They both traveled long journeys to achieve their dreams, and each of them heard a lot of people tell them no. Lots of people doubted them in their dreams. And that kind of reminds me a lot when I wanted to do this. A Million Miles Away tells me that, sto told me that story, and I really enjoyed, me enjoyed watching that story and movie. It is a great film for young people, so moms and dads don't have to worry about be it being appropriate for the their kids. The story of Jose Hernandez is a wonderful one, and it blazed an amazing trail. He is an amazing trailblazer, and a great example for one. One I found very inspiring is that I highly recommend it, and I think you, all families around the globe will like it. Please watch it when you're done with this video. I hope you find this talk helpful. My goal for a talks is to help my audience grow and do better. Now, that is a trail I want to brace so hard. I want to help my people in my community and set good, a good example to everyone that wants to follow their dreams. I know sometimes I stumble and sometimes things don't go my way, but I won't give up. I have learned this through my conversations and my new friends throughout this journey who were first in their fields and learning a story of, her, of Jose Hernandez. Show me it, if it's possible, if I'm willing to risk the, and hard work and don't get discouraged and I, I don't exceed. Being first is not easy, it's wor but it's worth it to achieve your dreams. Thank you for watching this episode of Kaya Talks. If you really enjoyed this episode, then I would be really grateful if you hit that like button and follow my channel. If you are on Spotify or Apple, a five-star review, it will be really helpful in growing my channel and expanding it to my community. Thank you for thank you for watching this episode. Make sure to be notified for the next one that's going to be dropping this Sunday. And make sure to go to the Kai Talks website to, so you can order a T-shirt, poster, or cap that's handmade, designed by my mom and me. Until next time, see ya.